Hey everybody, welcome to the Together We Roll studio and uh, today we've got a behind the scenes view of Fun with Dwarven Forge and an amazing map. Hey everyone, you know what to do. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, Pippin here is to make sure I'm gonna stay on track, so here she is. Anyway, so we just finished a big map session. This one is a doozy in terms of complexity and size alone. This is legitimately the biggest map I created for recording session on season two of Together We Roll. It would be episode eight, part two, I think it, it premiered, and then episode nine, part one and two. This was an incredibly dynamic map, just so much movement, so much life to it, and chaos, just crazy. <laughs> It oh, was so it was so much fun to be part of it. It's a moving map in multiple areas. It yeah. moves left or right. You can actually move it side to side if it wants to. There we go. It's got a little bit of a mass on it. Oh yeah, Lazy spin it around. Susan. And then we got mini Lazy Susans for each of the four corners to move around. For each one uh, that was acting as a separate gear. Uh, initiative 20, I would have all four players roll a D4. One, two would be left. Three, four would be right, and a D6 on how many times it rotates. And it goes from door, wall, door, wall. So depending on how fast it goes, depending on where you're gonna end up. So it was just complete madness on where you needed to go per turn by turn. Mechanical madness, I think, is the name oh, of the episode. We had goals we had to get into each area mm -hmm. here. So we're trying to get in here and like running over there. And next thing you know, this thing spins around. This has a wall, so we're mm -hmm. trying to get here. And next thing you know, it gets completely closed off. So yeah, you have to go to uh, basically each one uh, pretty much and activate certain things or do uh, certain things in order to turn these guys on in order to get the power flowing again. We've got a interdimensional portal that's here as well. We've got enemies just pouring out of it like water and also all the mechanics of this thing rotating around. We're trying, we're, we're under a time constraint to turn everything on. Monsters pouring in faster than we can take them out. The main thing, especially when it goes into longer battles, D&D and longer battles can be done, but you have to keep it entertaining. It had to keep evolving to make it interesting each and every time. Make it interesting. It is not easy. It is far from easy, but always make a battle memorable in some way, shape or form, either physical, or story aspect. I'm gonna let, release you guys now and uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and until next time, keep on rolling everyone. Take care. Bad bird.